The day you trade expectation for appreciation is the day you become wealthy. Because as long as you're expecting things, you're going to be disappointed. You're expecting people to be a certain way. They're not going to be. If the only time you're happy is when they all act and behave a certain way, you're not going to be happy very much. Or if you're happy, it'll be for a short period of time. You expect your spouse to be a certain way. You expect your kids to be a certain way. You expect your coworkers to be a certain way. You expect yourself to be a certain way. How about appreciation? That's the game. Because if you can appreciate the littlest things, you've got gifts that nobody else has. So the first place to be wealthy is psychologically, emotionally, and spiritually. And that place has to get regular deposits. And that means, just like some of you meditate, you need a daily discipline of magic moments. And you've got to learn to capture the little ones. And that muscle's got to be built. So what's your daily practice? You can call it whatever you want. We'll call it here magic moments. Every day I want you to capture at least two to three magic moments minimum. It could have been a conversation with a friend. It could have been a moment when an insight happened. It could have been a moment on the mountain. It could have been a little insight or distinction that you got that changed it. But you don't just capture it and write it down. You want to feel it and realize its value. You want to feel it like it's grace, like it's a gift that's been given to you. And what you're doing is appreciating that gift.